Hi variables, welcome back to my channel. I am Marvin Justo Pastaza, your online tutor for basic education, refreshing your ideas, broadening your vision. There are those instances wherein we are answering a certain problem and that problem asks for a mixed number answer, but the given is an improper fraction. Also, there are those instances where your younger brother or sister is asking for your help because he or she does not know how to answer his or her homework, because he or she do not know how to rewrite improper fraction to a mixed fraction, but you already forgot how to do it. Well, if that's the case, keep watching this video lesson so that you'll be able to refresh your ideas or skill and to have a better understanding on how to convert improper fraction to a mixed fraction. Happy learning! Today, we're going to take some of the ideas or concepts we've learned in the last video lesson and kind of join them and learn how we can move between improper fraction and mixed fraction. And let me explain a bit about what that means, first of all. What we're trying to say is, let's just take a little quick example from what we've had before. An improper fraction would be something like 11 over 4. That's what we call improper fraction, right? The reason it's improper is because the numerator is bigger than the denominator. Now, something we talked about also in our previous video lesson is something we call the mixed fraction. So, 2 and 3 fourths is a mixed fraction. It means we have two cakes plus another 3 fourths cake. It turns out when you think about it that the improper fraction 11 over 4 represents more than one whole object. So, when you have an improper fraction, you always have more than one of something. We also said that mixed fractions also mean that you have more than one of something. And you can go back to that lesson and refresh your memory on that by watching my previous video lesson. I will put the link on the description box so that it will be easier for you to find it. So the point here is, improper fraction or written like this and mixed fraction written like this are both representation of more than one whole object. That's what they both do. They are just different ways of writing the same thing. So it turns out that you can convert back and forth between improper fractions and mixed fractions because they both represent the exact or same thing. They're both just trying to let you know when you have more than one whole object. So we're trying to tackle it by showing example. Let's say I have the improper fraction 11 over 4. So the way of doing this is something that I haven't quite told you yet. That is, believe it or not, fractions in general, as I said in the previous video lesson, that they mean parts of a whole and things like that. But also, Fractions can be thought of as division. I'll say that one more time. Fractions can also be thought of as division. So, even though we haven't said it much, when we have 11 over 4 like this, you can think of it as 11 divided by 4. It's another way of writing division. So, usually, you have that division symbol you've learned in math before. Well, when you start seeing fractions, you can think of it as 11 divided by 4 is the same thing as 11 over 4, right? I know that seems a bit odd at first, but that's just another way to think of what these fractions can mean. The reason I bring that up is because we want to convert it to mixed numbers. In doing this, you take 11 and you go ahead and you divide it by 4. Because 11 divided by 4 is really what this fraction means, right? So, let's take 11 and divide it by 4. And let's see what you will have. So, how many 4 are there in 11? Very good. It's 2. 
and we have 2 times 4. The product is 8. And let's write the answer here. Then let's subtract. 11 minus 8 will give us 3. So 11 divided by 4 is equal to 2 with a remainder of 3. In order to rewrite it as mixed fraction, the quotient 2 will be our whole part and the remainder 3 will be the numerator of our mixed fraction. And let's just copy the denominator of our improper fraction. And finally, we can say that the improper fraction 11 over 4, when converted to mixed fraction, it will be 2 and 3 fourths. And we can say that 11 over 4 is equal to 2 and 3 fourths. Let's summarize the steps that we did. So, when we convert improper fraction to a mixed fraction, first, divide the numerator of the given improper fraction by its denominator. Second, write down the whole number answer. Then, write down any remainder as the numerator of the mixed number. And then, copy the denominator of the improper fraction. Let's have our second example and let's follow those steps. Let's say we have 13 over 3. First, let's divide the numerator by the denominator. So, we have 13 divided by 3. Now, how many 3 are there in 13? Precisely, we have 4. And 4 times 3 is equal to 12. And 13 minus 12 is equal to 1. So, 13 divided by 3 is equal to 4 with a remainder of 1. Following the second step, the quotient is a 4 and it will be our whole number. The remainder is 1 and it will be the numerator of our mixed fraction. And then let's copy the denominator of our improper fraction or our divisor, which is 3. So we can say that the improper fraction 13 over 3, when converted to mixed fraction, it will be 4 and 1 third. And we can say that 13 over 3 is equal to 4 and 1 third. Now, Let's move to our third and last example for this video lesson. Let's say we have 41 over 4. Again, let's divide the numerator by the denominator. So we have 41 divided by 4. Now, how many 4 are there in 41? Very good. It is 10. And when we multiply 10 by 4, the product is 40. And 41 minus 40 is 1. So, 41 divided by 4 is 10 with a remainder of 1. Following the second step, the answer will be our whole number in our mixed fraction. And the answer is 10. Next, let's write the remainder as the numerator of our mixed fraction. And then let's copy the denominator of our improper fraction or divisor. And we will have 10 and 1 fourth. So we can say that 41 over 4 when converted to mixed fraction is 10 and 1 fourth. And 41 over 4 is equal to 10 and 1 fourth. Now it's your turn. Convert the improper fraction 11 over 2 to mixed fraction. Just comment your answer below and if you have queries, don't hesitate to ask and just comment your questions. I'll try my best to answer it. Also, if you want me to make a video lesson on a certain topic for basic education, you can comment that topic below and I'll try to make a video lesson about it.
I am asking you to please subscribe to my channel and hit the notification bell so that you'll be notified whenever I have a new video. Don't forget to like and share as well. Thank you!